All right, today I want to go over the Xbox OG file system. I already have a hard drive already formatted, set up an EEPROM. I've already gone and set up this hard drive. I'm going to show you guys how I personally set up my hard drives. So I have a one terabyte hard drive. This is a laptop hard drive. I got it at a garage sale for a great price. It's actually healthy. The main thing you want to do is actually I recommend is loading it up and transfer a few games. Make sure you're getting good speeds that it's not crashing. You can also run a program to make sure the hard drive's in good health. But I've went ahead and I've already done that. So this is our drive. And I've already, this is how I set up. This is a, you have a C drive, a E drive, and you have an F drive. The F drive is your largest drive where most of the space is there. And what I do is I set a folder for emulators, a folder for games, a folder for homebrews. I personally don't put any demos, but I do make a demo folder. So it's, you know, bought black. And then you also have applications on the XBMC, but that pulls from another drive. So you don't, you don't need an application folder. Don't worry about that. But for the emulators, this is usually how I set it up. I'll put the emulators I want. So I have I download the emulators from XBMC for gamers. I transfer them over to hard drive, and then I'll move them hard drive to hard drive so I don't have to set this up every single time. So basically, I have the emulator on here, and then I make a folder called ROMs, and I put all the ROMs in it. That's, that's the easiest way to do it. So all of them are done the exact same way. Nintendo Game Boy, ROMs folder. I only have two. You know, stuff like that. So again, the Game Boy Advance, ROM folder all the ROMs are in there. So that's the best way to do it is you have, uh, you download your emulators from XBMC for gamers, you make a folder called ROMs, and you either transfer from your computer or FTP. FTP is going to take a lot longer. The computer is a lot faster. But this, in my opinion, is the best layout. I haven't even put any Game Boy Color ROMs in this one yet. Shows, you know, I'm, I'm still working on this. I'm finishing setting up. Again, the Nintendo, I haven't put any ROMs yet. And the NES... I haven't put any ROMs either, so I'm still finishing this up, as you can see. But And then the game directory, these are where you're going to put your extracted Xbox ISOs. I actually have 400 or so games here. And if you notice, all the games look like this. They have your default.xbe files. So if you're getting these from a different source, make sure that the name's not too long, because if the name's too long, it won't transfer over correctly. You can do that uh, by renaming. This is like really If you're not FTPing them over, you're using the hard drive tool. What I do is I actually rename a lot of stuff. So like my Tom Clancy games... I, instead of calling it Tom Clancy, I just put TC. You don't have to worry really so much about the name. If you're running an XBMC, it will still pick up the game name because the game name gets pulled from this uh, default at XBE, depending if you're using graphics or things. So don't worry about the folder you're putting it in, but I just do it so you know what it's called. But don't make the name too long. Otherwise, it won't transfer over. So that's one thing to show you. So I have all my games in their own respected folders. Every single game is the same way. They're extracted ISOs. So you extract the ISOs in this format. And that's all you have to do, and it will pick up all the games here in the games directory. Emulators are here, and then the same thing with the homebrews. Homebrews, same thing. You put the game files, and then just put them here. So I have like Tomb Raider, Zelda, Street Trades. I don't put too many homebrews just because they're kind of cool, but they're kinda, you can also download them from XBMC for gamers. So if you're looking to do your file system, this is your F drive. This is the large drive. You want it set up this way for your OG Xbox. Put everything in the respective folders. Put the exact uh, exact same layout as I do it. So this will get the names correctly. ROMs in the ROM folders. Games with their own respective games. Homebrews with the names. It's very simple to do. Make sure you do it right. And then, uh, like I said, you just go to devices. I'll show you how to map it. So if you're doing the drive, I already have it mounted. But let's say you click on your drive here. You click on low drive. And this will allow you to get to the different partitions. So if you want to go to your C drive, you mount the C drive. You want to go to the E drive, you mount the E drive. We're doing our F drive. This is the large drive. See how it has a large size? It's a terabyte. And we're, we have only 44 gigs of free space. So it's almost already full. You mount the drive, and then this will load up the folder for you. That's exactly how you do it. Hope this was helpful and you guys enjoyed. Trying to make this video short and sweet.